previously and Javier for hire. But Half really wants this job. Okay, Half. From now on, I need you to help me cook as many different things as possible. Half, no. Did you even add milk yet? Yeah, um, Half mm. has definitely improved. So, do you think I'm ready to work as a restaurant cook? In a small restaurant, sure. Javier, is that you? <gasps> Wait, do I remember you somewhere? I'm Mr. Ken, or you can call me Aaron, since we're no longer in a school environment. Javier, we really need someone like you to help keep this legacy going. So I can work here? Yes, Javier. I'll give you your uniform and then we'll show you around. Thank you so much, Aaron. You saved my life. I hope I can make Peach and Daisy rolls a few next year. Mr. Kingston? Wow. And it's for my job. Everything is frozen. Everything sweet has got it marinated. Everything is frozen. Now that's the perfect job for me. That's $29.99. Better get going now, otherwise I'm going to be late to baking club. Since when did a principal have hobbies like baking? Why can't I? I'm just a normal person like everyone else. Here's your sushi sea, creamy sekoshi, unagi nigiri, and BC roll. Is that correct? That's right. Thanks, Miss Waitress. Enjoy your shrimp frog. Who dares vomit in my $5,000 purse? Now I look back, I really missed the customers from my last restaurant job. Hey Rock, I go by Tadalmi. And please don't call me Leo anymore. I just want to be a Thatcher with the accomplishments of Leo Bradley. And you better be careful and not accidentally reveal that you're Brendan. Otherwise, it ruins the show. Wait, so Rocky Thatcher is his new name? No, Rocky Thatcher isn't my new name. I always am Rocky Thatcher. I changed my name to Leo Bradley to keep the ones in my personal life safe. Today will be my last day as Leo Bradley. After that, I will be Rocky Thatcher only. Finally! What's so finally about it? Rocky is still Rocky offstage. I think there's a famous TV theme song that can describe what I have been doing for the last 12 years. Anyone wanna guess? I'll be there for you. Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Are you sure Rocky's an Archie comics fan? I don't know, maybe Victorious? Nah, Victorious is too new for him. It's probably a teen sitcom song, but older than Victorious. Hannah Montana? Correct. Oh yeah. Come on. You get the memo out front. Whoa, whoa. All the styles, every shoe, every color. Yeah, when you're famous, it can be kind of fun. It's really you, but no one ever discovers. In some ways, they're just like all your friends. But on stage, you're a star. You get the best of both worlds. Chill it out, take it slow. Then you rock out the show. You get the best of both worlds. Mix it all together and you know that it's the best of both worlds. The best of both worlds, yeah! Pictures and autographs. Look at your face in all the magazines. The best part is that you get to be whoever you wanna be. Best, best. Yeah, the best of both. Best, best. You're getting the best of both! Best! Best! Come on, the best of both! Who would have thought that a guy like me would double as a superstar?
Do I mean on stage with no lyrics? You get the best of both worlds Chill it out, take it slow Then you rock out the show You get the best of both worlds Mix it all together and you know that it's the best You get the best of both worlds Without the shades and the hair You can go anywhere Sorry guys, Trina's is a little drunk. You get the best of both guys. Mix it all together. Oh yeah! It's, it's so, so much better. Because you know you got the, the best, best of both worlds. worlds. I feel nauseous, believe me. Never had a lot of shit come easy. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise up just so they could see me. Did what I had to do just to feed me. And what was left over, I put towards my dreaming. But the only thing in life that has meaning are the things you gotta work for, believe me. I swear to God, they all let me down. I always fought just to wear the crown. I'm pissed off at these fucking clowns. We're all taught they deserve an ounce It's only worth it if you work for it It's only worth it if you work for it I won't stop till they hear me now I won't stop till I wear the crown Remember what the rule is. Don't say that you're Rocky or Brendan, and definitely don't say Leo. Very good. Hello, the four of you must be Chef Gordon, Karasuma Sensei, Naruto, and Oliver Smokin' Oaken. Did I get her names right? Yes, you did. We're looking for a table of four. Well, the VIP room's available. It's okay. We can sit anywhere. No, please. All right, if you insist. How may I serve the four of you today? You guys are called Sushi C, but from your IG, why is everyone eating tempura and gemono? The name comes from our founder, the father of our manager, Aaron. Growing up, Aaron and his siblings really loved the sushi their parents made, and as a result, his dad opened a restaurant full of sushi they love. Oh, I see. Maybe the agemono here is especially good. Makes me want to try. What are some of your recommendations? I would recommend motoyaki with rice, chicken tarahage, shrimp tempura, and crispy California rolls. I saw the mango cheesecake and when we came in, maybe something like that for dessert? Mmm, that's all? For now, yes. Is Chef Gordon just gonna curse at us no matter what we make? It's okay. Just make whatever he orders. In any restaurant, Chef Gordon would be smart enough to get himself what everyone else gets. Here's their order. Motoyaki with rice, chicken karaage, shrimp tempura, fried California rolls, and mango cheesecake. I can make the crispy California rolls. Perfect. Javier, you can make the motoyaki with rice. Meanwhile, I can deal with the chicken karaage and the shrimp tempura. Three minutes. That's a little long. But according to my old principal, leftover rice is a lot of germs. And they die only if I heat it all the way. Tart shell and motoyaki, golden brown, rice full steamy and burning hot, all ready. Here you go, four orders of motoyaki with rice. There are two ways you can eat the motoyaki with rice. Separating or by mixing the motoyaki into the rice. I strongly recommend you mixing the two together. Well, from how your restaurant calls it, I can already tell you want them together. How do you like it? I made it myself. It's pretty creamy. That's all I can say.
Did that bowl of rice just walk to Club Penguin Island by itself? It's so freaking cold. I made sure it's all warm before I serve it to you. My rice is hot on the outside but still a little cold on the inside. And as for the overcooked material served on a crumbly tart shell, it looks even sloppier than a pharmacist's writing. And if I were to rename Sushi C, I'm not gonna rename it to Ageman OC anymore. I'm gonna rename it to Cheapskate C thanks to how little seafood there is in the motoyaki. Jeff Gordon, we need to put enough mayo if we want to hold it all together. And do you know how much oil is poured into my rice when I mix them together? I can seriously make an oil field and earn billions from that. Hey, that is a waste of perfectly good chopsticks. Whatever, a crappy restaurant like this doesn't deserve such good chopsticks. Come on, Gordon, let's just chill. Maybe the next dish is better than this one. Exactly, I agree with Naruto. If Gordon doesn't like it, I can finish his portion. What did Gordon say about the motiyaki with rice? He complained that the rice isn't hot enough. And he says that we can put more seafood and less mayo. Our microwave is pretty old. That's what happens when we're a three-man restaurant. And here's the sauce. I hope you like the jars. Here are our plates and chopsticks. Thank God, Javier, you saved my day. Is it okay if you guys move your food over for a little space? No problem. It's salty, but I don't taste much salt. Is it garlic? Yes, that's right, it's garlic. Our restaurant is 100% MSG free. We don't use MSG to season our food and the sauces are homemade. Oh yeah, the carriage chicken tastes like the eraser I still had from when I was 8. It's hard and rubbery. One last question I wanna ask. Did you make both the motoyaki and the two pieces of trash I'm eating right now? Motoyaki? Yes. These two? No. Who is it then? Your mum? I'm not his mom. I'm the co-owner and co-head chef of this establishment. Javier is one of my employees. And yes, I'm the one who made all that. I get that this is a three-man restaurant, but why don't you just cook at home? Hold it, hold it. <sighs> I know you two already tried your best. Cheer up. Chef Aaron's crispy California rolls are coming in handy. To be honest, Aaron, I don't think you can impress Chef Gordon with those rolls of yours. I'm the manager here. If they don't appreciate my food, they can as well screw off. Anyways, Aaron, I've never seen you wearing this uniform before. When do you usually wear that? It's my uniform of good luck. I wear it only when dealing with customers like Chef Gordon. I take it off when I'm done making the food. Here's your crispy California rolls. How do you like Chef Aaron's crispy California rolls? It collapsed just like the book club I joined in high school. It's pretty soggy. You must have waited a little too long to serve them. Well, I think it would have been better for you to finish your tempura and chicken before I serve the sushi. You're the manager, right? Please have a taste of your food. <laughs> Answer me. Is it the crunchiest thing you have eaten in the world? I think my dad's rolls are quite a bit crunchier than mine. I swear I followed exactly his recipes. Exactly. Show me your kitchen. You don't even know how to fry a sushi roll properly. All I'm eating is just a giant piece of digested material like the one I found in the stall. It's okay, Aaron. No need to feel triggered. Chef Gordon's rule is that as long as there's one dish that satisfies him, he'll pay you a $1,000 tip. So as long as your dessert satisfies him, your restaurant will earn a $1,000 tip. Thanks, Karasuma Sensei. We'll do our best. Now I get why the rice was so cold. At least, better than the last place we went to. Next on Kitchen Nightmares. Lettuce beside raw octopus. How is your license still not revoked yet? 
I just can't believe Chef Gordon compared my sushi to poop. It's okay. You know that's Gordon Ramsay. Let's just forget all that and take the cheesecake out. I think it would be best if all three of us were to go out there. Chef Gordon probably won't say things as embarrassing if we have almost as many people as them. Okay, then. Let's go. You should have a taste of our cheesecake. We use only fresh mangoes and the best cream cheese. And we make sure they're as jiggly as jelly. Um. We didn't blow it, did we? Since you're serving them in individual portions, why don't you just make them in individual ones instead of a whole cake? That's what we thought, but in the case of a big group ordering many slices, it would probably look better if we serve them whole. Chef Gordon, what do you think about your dessert? I'll probably leave it to my friends to decide if you have passed today. Each of my friends has one vote, while I have two. You must get at least three votes from the four of us to pass. The cake is sweet, creamy, and I can taste mango chunks in the cake. The only problem is that the crust is a little soggy and not crunchy enough. Still, I will give it a pass. The mango looks pretty fresh. I have eaten mango cheesecake from many restaurants of different cuisines. However, they usually just add a drop of mango syrup or blend in heavily sweetened mango puree and call it mango cheesecake. For going the extra mile in order to give customers the best quality, you pass. Just one more, just one more. The main problem with serving them in slices is that Naruto's slice was a bit smaller than Chef Gordon's. The cake tastes pretty good. But the stuff other than taste is where I have to give it a fail. <sighs> Why was I so careless? Why didn't I measure the slices before serving them? Javier, it's okay. It's not your fault for doing something the same way as everyone else. For giving me the biggest slice of cake, I'll definitely give you some bonus marks. Thanks, Chef Gordon. But here's the question you must get right for the bonus marks to work. How long ago did you make those cakes? Due to the lengthy steps needed to make this cake, we only make them in limited quantities each day. Don't play dumb with me. How many did you make each day? And how old are they? One week, two weeks, or are... We only make two whole cheesecakes a day. One cake is cut into ten slices. By how much gelatin you put, I can tell they're exactly three days old. Chef Gordon, Tatomi, Naruto, and Oliver. I'm very sorry for the dining experience you just had. Maybe we can make your lunch on the house? Sure, that would be nice. If someone has to take the blame for Chef Gordon's undesirable experience, it should be me. If I put more seafood into a motoyaki and not cut the cakes in such tiny portions, Sushi C's good name won't become laughingstock on TV. This has probably got to be one of the most devastating moments I experienced since Javier for Hire began. Probably not as bad as when Mr. Kingston chose me as part of the teacher jury for Steve, but surprisingly even worse than when I had to pay 500 coins for that broken computer at Better Igloos and when F-Zero was on fire. Javier. Just let him take the day off if he needs to. Are you sure? I don't want you guys to be short-staffed for dinner. It's okay. We'll do fine. I should probably go somewhere. But where? And... Should I really drive? Post-humiliation driving can probably cause an accident. And my old principal and Bonnie will watch my car. Okay, let's just take public transit. Huh? Why are we here at this hour? And your mood doesn't look that good either. Just going for a break from work. We don't have that many customers, so we can take a break until dinner. What are you taking the subway for? First. I'm taking the subway because I need to buy a new hair curler, but my car has to go for service. Second, I think you're lying when you're talking about how there are no customers. Did you get fired again? No, I didn't. Actually, I will get the curler later. We will get off at the station and go home now. Now, it's just me and you, with none of those subway passengers eavesdropping. What really happened to you at Sushi Sea? How about? I tell you what a customer said, and then you guess who I just had as a customer. Sure. Whatever. A crappy restaurant like this doesn't deserve such good chopsticks. I get that this is a three-man restaurant, 
But why don't you just cook at home? All I'm eating is just a giant piece of digested material like the one I found in the stall. That is brutal. If you want to leave, I'm with you. And what if I don't leave? You will end up on TV and everyone will know you as a horrible cook. That's Mr. Ken's restaurant. And they'll make peach and daisy rolls again soon. If you want peach and daisy, you can as well work in the buffet for Daisy Cruiser. But maybe something else will happen there. Half, I'm your best friend. I want you to quit because I want you to be safe, okay? He hasn't been home for three whole months. We must make a nice party for him. These are all my favorite foods. Chicken and tots, crustacean platter, lobster mac and cheese, and alumber. We made all these from scratch to welcome you home. <sighs> now that Rocky is back, this morning will be a cinnamon bun morning. Where's Rocky? Okay, stay calm. Rocky should be fine. Rocky will come back. Why is there no here? Let's tell Dakota and Grandpa first. Dakota! Grandpa! Rocky is missing, as well as the clothes in his wardrobe. However, he left a note. What the? When did you realize that Rocky is missing? I only woke up 15 minutes ago. He was already gone, as well as the clothes in the wardrobe. And I didn't even get to see luggage. Anyways, we should read a note. I've got to move on and be who I am. I just don't belong here. I hope you understand. We might find our place in this world someday. But at least for now, I gotta go my own way. Never have any arguments. Rocky was so nice and kept taking us, including me, for the food. What exactly did I do? I must have done something. This isn't Rocky's fault. He is my older brother. He took great care of me growing up. It is my fault. It is. Dakota, I'm afraid to tell you, he has already grown up. And Team Blue wins at 27 to 25. Maybe let's let Rocky and his friends chat a little first. Hey Rocky! Sorry, I have to go. Rocky, your cinnamon buns! Like, not even cinnamon buns can bring Rocky back. Cinnamon buns have been his favorite growing up. When Rocky didn't make it to our school soccer team. He basically cheered up when we made cinnamon buns. In fact, even Brendan, Oscar, Levi were able to make it, just not him. Thanks for inviting me, Rocky. My pleasure. Are you sure Dakota won't know that we're here? Dakota is interviewing for a security guard position at Coconut Mall. But anyways, did she do anything wrong to you? I just want to be able to relax without having to worry about her. I hope Dakota can respect this boundary of mine. Time to prove myself in front of Rocky. Time to prove to him that he belongs in this talented, musical, but also athletic family. Next. Hello, my name is Javier Young. I'm 28 years old and I'm from Waffletown, Pennsylvania. I will be graduating with a PhD in business from the U of Waffletown this fall. 
The song I'll be singing today is You Belong With Me by Taylor Swift. You're on the phone with your girlfriend, she's upset. He's going off about something that you said. Cause she doesn't get your humor like I do. I'm in the room, it's a typical Tuesday night. I'm listening to the kind of music she doesn't like. And she'll never know your story like I do. But she wears short skirts, I wear t shirts. She's cheer captain, and I'm on the bleachers. Dreaming about the day when you wake up and find that what you're looking for has been here the whole time. If you could see that I'm the one who understands you. Been here all along, so why can't you see? You belong with me. You belong with me. Hello, my name is Katie Herring. I'm 29 years old. I grew up in Evanston, Illinois. Also, I'm now living in Walford Town, Pennsylvania, for work. The song I will be singing today is "Call Me Maybe." By Carly Rae Jepsen. I threw a wish in the well. Don't ask me and never tell. I look to you as it fell, and now you're in my way. I trim myself for a wish, pennies and dance for a kiss. I wasn't looking for this, but now you're in my way. Your stare was holding, red jeans, skin was showing, hot night wind was blowing. Where are you think you're going, baby? Hey, I just met you. And this is crazy, but here's my number. So call me, maybe it's hard to look right at you, baby. But here's my number. So call me, maybe. Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy, but here's my number. So call me, maybe. And all the other boys try to chase me, but here's my number. So call me, maybe. Hello, my name is Maddie Starkson. I'm 29 years old and I'm from Waffletown, Pennsylvania. I've been running a hair salon for four years. The song I'll be singing today is Stay With Me by Sam Smith. Oh, won't you stay with me? Cause you're all me. This Your singing is great. Congratulations on your ticket to compete in our first round. Oh, no way. Even she, she can get in with just a song like this. Hello, my name is Dakota Thatcher. I'm 24 years old and I am currently work as a security guard in Coconut Mall. The song I will be singing today is Stay by Rihanna. Oh no, it was a fever. A cold sweat, high headed believer. Threw my hands in the air, I said, Show me something. Said, If you did. Come a little closer Round and around and around and around we go Oh, now tell me now, tell me now, tell me now you know Not really sure how to feel about it Something in the way you Makes me feel like I can't live without you It takes me all the way I want you to stay The next contestant in the top 50 Fighting for a spot in the top 25 
is our lovely Waffle Town girl, Maddie Starkson. She'll be singing Mercy by the 18-year-old prodigy singer, Sean Mendes. Please have mercy on me, take it easy on my heart, even though you don't mean to hurt me, you'll keep tearing me apart, could you please have mercy, mercy on my heart, could you please have mercy, mercy on my heart, yeah. Welcome back Atlantic Idol. I'm Miley Stewart, with a new haircut. Previously, our lovely Waffle Town girl, Maddie Starkson, had just performed, will she be able to make it to the top 25? Let's take a look. Maddie, you have received votes from 736 audience members. But is that enough for you to make it to the top 25? I'm sorry Maddie. But you are only ranked 29th place. This means that you'll be unable to reach the top 25. Have you managed to schedule anything with Rocky lately? Hopefully. He just finished a world championship. Did he get a gold medal? He got a silver. But an accomplished, proud silver. Nice! Congratulations, Rocky! Medal or not? I will always be proud of this brother. Hello, Rocky. Hi, Levi. I'm calling to tell you that my godparents and I will be leaving for Congo for some volunteering. I guess by then, we'll only be able to communicate through letters, as there's no reception there. On behalf of the citizens of the Democratic Republic of Congo, I will say thank you in advance. Did I get the name right? Yes. You did. When will we be back? In about two weeks. I'll text you the address in a second. Nice. We're all super excited to welcome you home. Oscar, Brandon, Jane, your grandpa, and uh, anyone else you want to name. All familiar faces of people you love. Looking forward to hosting a welcome back party with you all. Welcome to our new unit. I'm Darby von Der Botsford, your new health news anchor, and this is Health with Derby. Today's headline. The CDC has announced mandatory 21-day quarantine for all U.S. nationals returning from West Africa. How is Dakota for hire going? I just don't get it. Why isn't Target hiring me as their next ad model? I'm 5'10". I'm not camera shy. I can do whatever I need to get in shape, and I can shoot for long hours. Come on in. Grandpa, think it's Levi. I guess I'll give you two a moment. Hey Levi, how are things going? Rocky has to quarantine for 21 days, and it just started today. Ah, it doesn't have to happen when I can't be with him. I can't be with him either. He just melted me and everything I sent him has been left on sand. Should we still going? Why not? They're already out. Oh my god. Guess if I were to eat here more, I'll eventually get to see Rocky. Nah, I don't think so. Didn't you see the look on their faces? But I just don't understand. Shouldn't Rocky already have everything he wants now? Then yeah, that's true. He already has his own celebrity friend. And... Do you two want to sit down and get some lunch? We may be a small restaurant, but our food is good. Sure, why not? Right, Deco? No trip? Yes. This place looks... Not recommended, doesn't it? What would you two like to order? Two orders of creamy sake oshi, two signature omurises, and two red bean tayak. Are you okay with the wait? An order of tayaki takes about 20 minutes. That's kinda long. Don't you wanna go and see where Rock is? I've not even finished writing that speech. What am I gonna say when I see Rocky? Well, I guess you have a point. Waiter, we can wait. Let's just enjoy our tayaki today. 
Thank you, Mr. Waiter. How long has it been? Like thirty minutes. I'm guessing that's the break. What break are you talking about? You know, the break between lunch and dinner. Are you sure this restaurant has a break? The music is still on. Okay, let's check the restaurant hours. Nope, no break. I guess the employees are being lazy. Let's tell the manager. I'm guessing this is the manager. Is there anything I can help you with? We waited thirty minutes for the waiter that served us to come, but he still hasn't showed up. Is he a young fellow with average height, dark red hair, bangs, and no facial hair? Yes, he is. We waited thirty minutes for the waiter that served us to give us our bill, but he still hasn't shown up. Don't worry, I'll help you. And lunch for you two comes at sixty-four dollars and ninety-four cents. Sorry, Peach and Daisy. I didn't get to help you to strengthen your amazing dessert empire. <laughs> Aaron, are you? Dear Aaron and Bonnie. I sincerely thank you for training me, and without you, I wouldn't be serving all these precious customers this well. As for Aaron, I feel super duper thankful to work alongside you once again. But for this instant, there is no way I can compensate for her losses other than to leave. Oh! <laughs> you never know how good you have it. Until you're staring at a picture of the only friend that matters. Ah. I know what we're supposed to do. It's hard for me to let go of you. So I'm just trying to hold on, hold on. I don't want to know what it's like when you're gone. I don't want to move on. I don't want to know what it's like when you are gone for good Just slipping through my fingertips A little bit, by a little bit I didn't know that loving you was the happiest I've ever been So I'm just trying to Starting to feel like you don't need me Wanna believe it's all for the better It's getting real, I'm missing you deeply so I'm just trying to hold on Starting to feel like you don't need me Wanna believe it's all for the better It's getting real, I'm missing you deeply So I'm just trying to hold on, hold on I don't wanna know what it's like when you're gone I don't wanna move on I don't wanna know what it's like when you're gone for good Just listen to my fingertips a little bit, not a little bit. I didn't know the loving you was the happiest I've ever been. So I'm just trying to hold on, 